Hey guys, welcome to the next episode of Who Should You Choose, the video series where I go through all of the prior videos, questions, and comments, and help you with your hut line of decisions. Now, I apologize, the last episode was recorded right before I left for Vegas, so I went to Vegas for about four or five days, I believe. So this is going to be kind of dated, but I'll explain all the things that are going on and try to make it as relevant as possible. Uh, make sure that you... Ask your questions down below. If you were not subscribed with notifications on, you're going to have a hard time getting your question answered in the next video. That being said, let's just get right after it. All right. Uh, Matthew Crowley says, hey, Sleeves, you're the GOAT. Here's my team. I appreciate that, man. You're the GOAT. He's got McKinnon, Jokin, and Larkin, Goudreau, Matthews, and Nolan. Bar okay, so this is a GOAT team. Uh, Murphy, Hedman, I have 300,000 coin. I just pulled Messier and trying to figure out where to put him. Also, is base McDavid worth the pickup? Dude, to you... All you're chasing is Connor McDavid. Um, I mean, unless you want an Evo card, I wouldn't recommend any get, get them. As of this recording, this is Friday morning. So we're going to get week two of the Evo event. Make sure you check out my stream, twitch.tv slash no 12 um, at 5 p.m. We're going to go over all of the new stuff from the Evo event. Also, is Base McDavid worth the pickup? Base McDavid is worth the pickup if he gets to under 120,000 coins. He'll hold his value, but he's going to play on like your... I mean, I guess he could be your first-line winger, but your wings are so good, man. With, with um, Messier, honestly, oh, man, you don't have Gretzky or Lemieux. Like, that's that's really it, right? Like, your team is stacked. So I'm trying to get one of them. i maybe try and look out for uh, Bellavoe and Richard uh, to try and get Gretzky or Lemieux. That's probably it. Uh, Siren says... Uh, Poulin, McKinnon, for, I mean, Poulin, okay, can we also state, there's a few of the female cars that are just so good, like Poulin and um, Hillary Knight and uh, Coin Schofield, just such good cards, there's a few others as well, but like, even when I'm playing in like Division 1 guys or Hut Champs, like I notice them a lot, so um, they're not going away, man, like they, they are they are definitely some viable cards, uh, X Factor, got two different Coles Evos. Somewhere, don't know yet, hasn't got upgraded in game and day card. What card should I go after next, and who should I upgrade first? Okay. Um, in net, I would go with base Markstrom. Uh, I've been messing around with this, guys. I've been struggling a little bit, even with the God Squad. Might have just been me taking my time off and not playing, but nonetheless, um, Shisterkin just wasn't really working for me anymore, and you'll notice that at the beginning of the game, there's a lot of goaltenders that are viable, um, and they play better, especially this year with the new added... Um, EASHL animations going into it. Um, what ends up happening now is it's very easy to stop one timers, right? So your goaltenders are making crazy saves because there's new animations. It's not tied to attributes. But I've been noticing Chester can be kind of weak. I went and got a uh, base Markstrom just to try him out. I'm probably going to get his Evo. Like he's so good. Or sorry, not his Evo, his uh, X Factor. He's so good. I would put Markstrom in net and get rid of Vasilevsky. Um, in terms of the rest of your team, Poulin, Matthews, Barzal. Your centerman, like Poulin and Barzal, I'd rather have Poulin on the wing. And you, you have Nurse up there as well. Um, like, you're looking at base McDavid, essentially. And I would try it. Do you have any of the spotlights? I don't see any of the spotlights here. If you get McCann, I would take McCann so you could put Poulin on the wing and Barzal on the wing. What up, Jordan? My dude. Uh, do you think Stamkos is an endgame X-Factor? I don't have any of the X-Factors yet, but I still plan to get McDavid, McCarr, Matthews, and McKinnon eventually. Not free to play. Usually spend about two to 300 a year. Um, okay. Stamkos, last year he was. This year, uh, he started so hot. I don't know. It's tough. It's tough to say. I think that he, he probably is, um, just because he can play wing and centerman. The gold 1T is kind of a useless ability, though, in this game, because one-timers just don't go in um, unless you're four inches in front of the crease. Um, if he, Yes, he is. Yes, he is, because he's so cheap to get him to base, and you'll always have him. Yes, but Stamkos is. I'm not going to overthink it. Yeah, he is. What up, Greg Connor? Uh, Gregory Doucette says, Hey, bud, I hope you're doing well. I, I am. I hope you're doing well. Um, I have 180,000 coins, and I'm free to play. I have Poulin, Makar, all X-Factors at their max. I place Platinum or Ultimate, div rarely, div rarely Division 1. Um, hoping you can give me some advice on what D-Man I can get that will last me a while. My scoring is high, but I let in I let in a lot as well. Most of my games end up eight, 7 or 8. Wow, that's a lot. Okay. Um, so... I'd be willing to hazard a guess that you've you've been using smaller defensemen or defensemen that don't have high defensive awareness. So 
You want to go after some of the bigger guys. I don't know if you were able to do well in Hut Champs or not. If you're in Division 2, you probably did. Um, but the the left-handed defenseman that um, that came in Hut Champs, I, I think it's Ludwig. I always get Ludwig and Bellows mixed up. I think it's Ludwig. Um, you might be able to make him to help out a little bit. That base, or that that Sandine, that team, uh, uh, game day tilt Sandine tr has, has truculence. Like, that's a good one. You want to look at guys that are above six foot that, that have decent body checking at like 85 or have truculence, whether it be silver or gold. Um, because I, if you're letting up that many goals, either you're getting killed on the rush um, or, and that might be because people are forcing passes through and that's because you have lower defensive awareness or you're just getting, you're chasing around and you're not being able to bump anyone off the puck. So look for guys that have truculence or 85 and above body checking. Jason Pieces, Ace Sleeves. I uh, hope you had a great trip. Thank you, man. I did. Love the content in the streams. I'm free to play D2 this year. Here's the squad. He's got Barzal, Stamkos, 88 Turbo. Is that Tavo? Oh, that might be a good autocorrect. <laughs> Tavo Teravainen. I don't know if that's it. Maybe I'm maybe I'm maybe I'm missing the nickname, but 88 Turbo. Uh, he's got 86 ADB, Mechanic Goudreau, Giroux, Morrison. All right, so you need some forwards, man. So base Barzal is fine. But it's time to it's time to get some better forwards up there. <sighs> righties <laughs> righties are tough because there's a lot of good ones at the top end, but like in that middle range, you want a good fast. I wouldn't get his X factor. I would get McCann to eighty eight, uh, with the with if if you even if you can't like if you if you don't get free collectibles, I would try and make enough to get McCann to eighty eight, because you could put Stamkos on the wing. Um, you could get another centerman, um, someone like Kopitar, 85 Anzai Kopitar would be a good one. You, you could, cause your right-handed wingers are kind of weak. So put Stamkos on the wing. That kind of helps things out quite a bit. Um, your defense is fine. Yeah, there you go. That's what I would do. I would start there. Connor says, Hey slaves, keep up the great content. Love what you do. Thank you, my man. Um, Here's my team. I sit at 200,000 coins looking to upgrade my defense. I've distributed a magician. Those are two of the weaker ones, by the way. Well, I mean, they're not bad. They're, they're B tier. Um, Pasta, Barzal, and Matthews. 86, Matt. I would put Matthews at center and Barzal on the wing. You have Kucherov. Oh, okay. So I see what's happening here. Yeah, you need... Um, hmm. Okay. McCann needs to play center because he has unstoppable force. Um, the reason why that's important is because when you're cycling the puck in the offensive zone, like having someone, I, I don't know, I like it having him there. He's also big, um, a little bit better defensive, or as good defensively as Bergeron. You can move Shifley to the, you have a lot of like good but not great cards. You need a lefty. You need a left-hand winger. How many coins do you have? 200k try and get base mcdavid i'm currently saving for the fantasy event as is everyone else Ugh, i'm so sad about how bad week one was so sad uh this is all messed up oh my goodness i say he's been following the channel this is from mike uh i say he's been following the channel for a few years usually only play for the first month or two as i'm an eshl player but i'm really enjoying hut gameplay so i'm trying to be somewhat comp this year and i think i may be play the whole year just gotten to Div 2, probably won't buy many more packs, so I want to limit future mistakes so my team can keep up with comp teams throughout the year. 550k and have no idea what to do with it. I bought a bunch of 83s and 85s, can trade in my 84 spotlight cards if I need to do the event as well. May replace Quincy for Hut Champs, but no one too crazy. If you were me, what would you do? Any advice would help a ton. Love the channel. Thanks for all the help throughout the years. P.S. Not a Sharks fan, but damn do I miss Ryan Clove and Douglas Murray. <laughs> Let's go, brother. All right, so you've got McKinnon, Lemieux, McDavid. I mean, dude, you have a lot of the spotlight cards and that you obviously you can trade in. Um, X-Factor Larkin, you want to max out. He got up to his 86. You want to max out McCann. McCann is worth maxing out. Um, I wouldn't do DeBrinket or Pasta, to be honest with you. McCarr is fine. Byram is good. Fox, Quincy. Yeah, you're looking for a, an impact defenseman for sure. Man, it's it's hard with no master set players because of the Evo event. Um, you have an entire team of spotlight cards. I would not upgrade these anymore. I think that with five hundred fifty thousand coins, you already have Base McDavid, and you have Lemieux. Like you're looking. 
This is the problem, guys. Right now, I talked about this in my market video. There's no one that's good value right now because you're having to pay a ton and it's because there's no other good spot, like there's no other good master set players because Evo event, while it's like, you know, good in a sense, they're not good cards for much later on in the year. So it makes it awfully tough. So you're looking at like, McCann. You know what would be fun? Like Tage Thompson. If you're an ESHL player, you can hold on to the puck. That primetime Tage Thompson for like 60K is nuts. Um, in, in terms of... The other car that you could go, I would, I you could upgrade Goudreau to max, and you could upgrade McCann. He's, I think he's already max. The other ones I wouldn't upgrade. In terms of righties, you could grab Stan Coase's X Factor, but I just don't recommend anyone buy X Factors. I would rather you just try and do the the reroll set whenever you can. There's really not much else you can do. You're kind of in the same spot I am, where you're just kind of stuck. Like this is what until new cards come out, like you're just kind of stuck, dude. Pat says, hey, Sleeves, love this series. Thanks for keeping it going. No problem, dude. Barzal, McCann, Coin, Terra. Oh, dude, you don't have Terra Vinen. Yeah, Terra Vinen's going to fix a lot of this, guys. I forgot that Terra Vinen. By the time that this video came out, the Terra Vinen was out. 200k to work with. I plan on getting Niedemeyer from the seasonal set in a few days. The free Ducks pack might have changed that. Um, if you are no money spent, I don't see if you are. I've, I've talked about this. If you're no money spent, especially in this situation, he's got, he's got 88 Kel... Who is 88 Keller? I'm... I'm... Oh, okay. Meg, okay, okay. I was going to say, <laughs> there's no NHL or name Keller. Okay. Uh, yeah, you need another lefty, man. You could go and get that free Niedemeyer and upgrade him to his 86. That's not a bad play at all. Um, I think that's completely fine. You've got McCann. Uh, you've Coin, Goudreau. You need another centerman, man. You need another centerman. I would get that... I would get that Kopitar or Tage Thompson. For sure, with 200,000 coins. And you need another righty as well. Hmm. Base McKinnon at 100k, under 100k would play. Uh, Sleeves, how many extra cards do you think is sustainable to have on a team? I have three, and I could have more, but it seems hard to maintain. I've said this a bunch, guys. Now that Hut Champs is in is in play, if you can get... I've said this quite a few, a few times. If you can get to 11 wins in Hut Champs, you are getting five power-up collectibles a week. That is more than enough to sustain however many X factors you want. But if you are, if you can't get eleven wins in Hut Champs, and you can get like maybe three X factor collectible or power up collectibles, the issue is is that you're gonna run into this point in like December, or January when your X factors are gonna cost like Kaprizov. He's gonna go up to like his ninety three, and it's gonna cost you like five power up collectibles to get your Kaprizov from ninety two to ninety three, and he's not gonna upgrade his skating at all. And he's not going to get a great new ability or anything. That's where, you know, having five a week is a great baseline. Because in two weeks, essentially in two weeks, you have ten. That's more than enough to, to upgrade as many as you want. Like last year, I would get to 11 wins, and that's it. And I had as many as I wanted. Um, but if you can't pass, like, you have to make sure that you're not upgrading any of the X-Factors that, A, you don't really like the player, uh, and B, the, they have the longevity. So it's really just like McDavid, Matthews, McKinnon, McCarr. Samkos, Barzal, because he's so cheap. Like, Barzal and Larkin, uh, and to an extent, Samkos, for, for example, guys, the reason why it's okay to upgrade those guys is because they're so impactful at such a cheap price point because their skating is so hard. Uh, budget left-handed wingers, other than McDavid, the only position are team builders. Other options are team builders. Like, I like the Valor and Ashushkin play of the year. Any of the Dylan Larkin cards are great. Spotlight Goudreau, even if you can just make the 84 and slowly upgrade him, I think Goudreau is a fine play. Um, that would be a decent option as well. All right, so uh, Anzi says, uh, Hey, Sleeves, I got X-Factors. I got a lot of X-Factors on my team. I want to exchange three X-Factors for another. I have X-Factor Barkov, who is not on my team right now. Who should I keep? Pasta, Stamkos. Uh, he's got Ovi, Stamkos, Makar, Hedman. I'm not a huge fan of, of Ovi's X Factor. Um, and the reason being is that he is slow and it will become an issue as it goes along a little bit further. And he costs a lot. Like, unless he gets. He's so good at 99. Like, he's so good, but the cost is huge and he's not going to get Team of the Year. He won't. I don't know. I mean, I, I wouldn't upgrade at Ovi anymore. Stamkos, I would get Stamkos to 85. Uh, 100%. 
Um, Hedman's another tough one, man, because he's so slow and his cost is huge. He's not going to get team of the year, I don't think. Like, I, I, I think defensive team of the year is Yossi and, and McCarr, and it's just wrapped up. Oh, maybe, <laughs> no, not Carlson, not Carlson. I wish, but his last year was so bad. Um, and the reason why that's important, why, why that's important is because at a certain point in December or January 1st, when team of the year comes out, you can trade in the highest rated X factor for that team of the year card. And the great thing about the team of the year card is they always match the highest overall card. So they always will be upgraded to the max point and you don't have to pay anything. So getting McCarr and Yossi is, I think is okay. Hedman is going to cost so much and like his speed just is, is going to become an issue until he gets up to like 99. Um, but I would trade in. I would not trade in Ovi Stamkos. Oh, dude. I would just hold, man. I would just hold, dude. I would just hold. Um, we've got uh, Joe Sheep says, Hey, Slaves, do you think after how hot a start is, it'd be worth investing in the pasta X Factor simply for the possibility of Team of the Year? There's really no shot, man. Like, I, I don't think that um, he has nearly enough pull. Like, I, I'm trying to think off the top of my head. When it comes to righties, like you have Marnu at a lot more points, and I think Goudreau is listed as a righty. I bet he might be a lefty. I can't remember. Um, but I think it might. I don't know if it'll be position locked either, guys. Like, it's going to get. It, it, team of the Year is a marketing event. So you've got center is McDavid, and right handed defenseman is McCart. And, like, I don't know how much they want to just keep rolling those guys out because the issue is. Matthews has had an unbelievable season and prior year, but he can't beat McDavid, so he's never going to get team of the year. And part of me thinks they're just going to kind of ram in uh, three forwards and two defensemen. Um, and if they do that, it's Matthews and, and it's Matthews and McDavid, and then maybe it's McKinnon, Goudreau. I mean, Goudreau's kind of had a lame start, I think. So there's one other spot, and it's not going to be pasta. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Who Should You Choose? Make sure you... Leave a comment as quick as possible and subscribe with the notification bell on so you know when the next video comes out for your best chance to get your question answered. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.